Hey y'all, welcome back to KV Resin. Today I'm gonna pour a new mold. New to me, not new to the world. Um, I am going to attempt, oh, look at my gloves, y'all. Come split, I'll be darned. And they were fused together. Let me try another pair. There we go. I am going to attempt, and I use that word lightly. <laughs> I am going to attempt to, on the bottom side of the mold, you can see I had an accident while ago with resin. I had a uh, I have the Let's Resin mixer, and uh, I put it on a different cup, and it was a little bit too big, and it slung it everywhere. So I had to start all over. So this already isn't going well for me. But if you can see inside this mold, it has got little bubbles on the outside of the mold of the plate. And this is a base that it sets on like that. Or like that, probably. Yeah, like that. Like a little cake plate. I want to try to get my resin or my alcohol ink in each one of those little balls. But I don't think that's going to be possible. So, I'm not quite sure how to go about this because it's awful tight in there. And I'm afraid I'll spill it everywhere. Um, I think what I'm gonna try to do is put the alcohol ink in a cup. Let me make sure I shuck this up good. Is shuck a good word for it? Y'all say shake. I say shuck it up. And that's not right, I know. It's just all where you from. Okay, I know that's too much. Okay, let's see here. I don't know if this little sponge here will do what I want it to do. And it is. And here we go. I'm gonna put y'all on time lapse so that you ain't gotta watch me do all this. And if you wanna fast forward, you ain't gonna hurt my feelings. Right, uh, this has got little hearts in it so um, I think I'm just going to pour this all white maybe I don't know what to do here yeah because it's the base and it's going to be like this so the hearts you'll see at the bottom so I'm just going to go ahead and um, add the alcohol ink to the heart. And then it'll have the kind of the same effect on the platter part of it so it matches. You know what? I'm thinking about trying to do like a, a 3D bloom on this part of the plate. But if y'all saw my video where I attempted to do the bloom, and guess what? I failed. Um... I'm, I think I'm going to try it again today. 
I don't know if I'm just stupid or cocky today. I don't know which, but you know what? This would have been prettier if I would have done a white UV resin on the hearts and then poured it clear, wouldn't it? But I hate to ruin all that alcohol ink because it's just going to stay right in here. It's not going to go down. <laughs> But I hate to use uh, to to waste all that alcohol ink. What to do? What to do? Uh, I think I'm gonna pull it out, y'all. Stupid, stupid woman. That's in my favorite movie, The Notebook. In case y'all uh, don't know that. The, when she always says, I'm a stupid woman, and her mama says it too. It's one of my favorite movies, The Notebook. There's so many movies, though, that come on. If Forrest Gump is, comes on a uh, channel, I stop and watch it. It doesn't matter if it's at the beginning, the middle, or near the end. I'm going to watch it every time. Um, and Cast Away with Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is such a brilliant actor, y'all. Uh, he makes me... I think what makes a good actor is they make you believe their role. Because in the uh, Elvis movie, if you all uh, are fans of Elvis, which I am, uh, in the Elvis movie... I didn't like him, but in Castaway, I loved his character. In Forrest Gump, I loved his character. But when he plays the villain, which ain't very often, um, he uh, makes you makes you not not like him. And 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 if he's you know the good guy, I guess you could say, of the movie, then you love him. And I think that's what makes a good actor. And that's why I think Tom Hanks is a really very good actor. I don't know if there's any other Elvis fans out there. But um, on my bucket li list, uh, I've, of course, y'all, everybody knows what a bucket list is. But I got to cross off one of the things I wanted to do last uh, fall, my husband and I went to Graceland, and I wrote my name on the rock wall in front of Graceland, and I wrote my mama's name on the rock wall, and I got myself a pink Cadillac <laughs> refrigerator magnet, <laughs> but I got a pink Cadillac. Elvis Rose. All right, y'all. Um, I think if I ever get another dog and it's a boy dog, I think I'll name him Elvis. That's kind of random, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to do that bloom today because I'm I'm feeling a little spunky today. So, uh, I'm going to give my resin some time to warm up. I don't know how, if I mixed up enough or not. So, I'm going to do the plate first. But I'm going to wait for it to heat up a little bit. I got uh, 16 ounces. But I'm going to wait it for it to uh, heat up a little bit before I start my pour. And then, of course, uh, I'll do the base last because I'm afraid I may not have enough. But this plate don't seem very thick, does it, y'all? But this, these are what fools you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my um, UV resin mixed up. And I'm going to use the same little cup here that uh, I used uh, to drop the, the uh, resin in, which y'all noticed that I went ahead and took the bottle and, and, and uh, mixed it up that way. And it, it worked out pretty good, but I had to go back over it and stuff because I would spill it up the plate. And uh, I, I just kind of want it to generate from here and then move up 
the plate, if you know what I mean. And I'm sure y'all do. Y'all are all pros and watching me mess up all the time. I bet y'all get real giggles when you're, oh, look, she's messing that up again. <laughs> so, oh, somebody needs to help that poor woman. Some things I'm, sh I'm surprised I ain't got kicked out of resin, y'all. All right, I think that's good right there. All right, I'm gonna put you on time lapse for this, and uh, because I'll be coming back and forth to cure it all up. <laughs> y'all i've got my resin heated up it is 55 degrees celsius i hope that's not too hot but that's what it took me to get everything together so i'm gonna get um a little cup so that i can do a bloom i'm feeling froggy so not that I'm going to make a frog, y'all, but I'm going to make a bloom. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour this in the plate. I hope y'all can see this okay. Let me scoot it over a little bit there. Oh, heck, I should have probably mixed up the... Uh, the pigment paste first. Before I started pouring this. Daggone it. I probably messed up, didn't I, y'all? I don't know why that uh, resin is holding there. Oh, it's not. I can see it traveling. This could backfire on me. I thought it would uh, move. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up real quick. Um, I'm using a uh, bloom from pouring your heart out. Um, oops. All right, that's enough. Jeez, I could have just ruined it, couldn't I have, y'all? I'm sorry, I'm putting my stand on there. I know I got too much. I mean, I want you to be able to see it, though. Oh, this resin is hot. I can feel it on my hands. I feel like I could have just uh, ruined it because I feel like uh, 
My resin's going to be too hot. And I'm not a very good piper, so... I feel like I probably went out too far. This is going to be crappy. This will probably be one for the out garbage can. I feel like I should have done the flower smaller too because it's not going to travel beyond this, I don't believe. It would help if I would knew what I was doing, wouldn't it, y'all? Since I've already ruined it anyway, I'm just going to... Hmm. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to do what I planned. Just to make sure I have enough, though. Okay, I'm going to pull this that I strung up the side there. I hope y'all can see this. And there we have it. All right, y'all. I see you demoting. I'm not very hopeful on this one. Hey, y'all. We're ready to demode. I don't feel hopeful for this one. Let's, let's use Nat's trick. Looky there. Wow. Now the mold is a little bit uh, slippery, I guess. <laughs> it's so slick, I can't hardly hold on to it, y'all. I probably did too much on that. There we go. Well, that doesn't look so swell. The hearts do, 
but there's a bubble. So let's see how this goes. Don't feel hopeful for it. Definitely no. Horrible. Y'all, this is god awful, but I, I'm going to try to save it with maybe some pet tape or something. I think that might would work. It's a very cute mold. I think I'm going to pour this all in bread. That is kind of pretty, though, but this isn't. But I'm gonna get some pet tape and I'm gonna cover this all up. So I'm gonna all right, y'all. Uh I'm gonna try to save this tray and I'm gonna use this uh pet tape around the edges of it in order to save it. And I'm gonna put something like right in through here too, but I'm gonna leave this because that's okay. I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna put y'all on time lapse because this is gonna take me a little while. And we're gonna save it. See, I think that'll be really pretty around the edge there. I think it'll be pretty. All right, I'm going to put y'all on time lapse. Here's my here's my save on my plate, and I think it's gonna look really cute now. I got I tried to put some on this, but it just ain't gonna work. So we're gonna leave that as it is, ugly and all. And I'm gonna put a top coat of uh, a six-hour cure resin over top of it, and I'm gonna throw a little bit of glitter in with it. I think you know my favorite stuff here, the crushed crystal unicorn art. And I'm just going to do a little bit. So, I'm going to get that mixed up real quick. All right, y'all. I got uh, my 4-Hour Fast Cure. And all I'm going to do is just put um, a top coat on top of it. So, I'm just going to kind of put it on there. I put the diamond dust in there, too. So, I'm just going to put some on here. I know I mixed up way too much. I mixed up two ounces. But I'm going to get that rolling around there. Just to top coat that um, pet tape. I hope this is a good save. It looks to me like it's going to be okay. I think it'll be all right. And you can barely see my shimmer in there. I 
I have no idea how to do this with it being, uh, y'all probably laughing at me. I don't know. Um, I've never top coated something like this before. I don't know if I should have moved it with my finger or if, what, so. I'd say probably a silicone to, or, I can't even talk today. Me and my granddaughter been out to the grocery store. We're going away for the weekend, and she's going to uh, come and, and stay with our dog. So we went and got some of her kind of food. So that uh, she can be here this weekend. I never thought in a million years that my grandkids would have been old enough to stay by themselves for a weekend. But she's a dog sitter. She does it for my brother and sister-in-law also when uh, they go out of town. So she's our puppy sitter. Well, we don't have a puppy. We got a dog, but... All right, you all, that's going to be my save. You know what I think I'm going to put uh, a little bit of alcohol ink in here. That's the punch me in the face pink, as I call it. And I'm going to dull it up a little bit with the white. I thought about it putting around on this edge here, but I'm I'm scared to. I'm scared to because I don't want to mess it up. Because I think now it's gonna be pretty. I'm not gonna do that, y'all. <laughs> I know that's ugly and it needs some help, but I'm going to do it on the bottom. And it'll shine through. Goodness, y'all. Can't leave well enough alone, can I? I'm going to fast forward this for y'all. All right, and that's that. I'm going to find something to put that extra in. Hey, y'all. Here's how the plate turned out. Everything's top-coated. And this is how the bottom turned out. I think that looks cute with the pink uh, underneath of it. And then it'll set up. I'll get a picture of it for you. I'm sorry this video was so long, y'all, but I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you next video.